All right, let me let me hit record and and continue. We have t we have more time to <gasps> this motherfucker again. Hello, it's your friendly neighborhood's tax officer from the Payel Tax Office. Oh no. Why am I getting a bad feeling about this? Firstly, thank you again for your timely payments. We hope you can maintain this for the remaining debts. Uh, it's nothing. I'm just happening. What? What remaining debts? That's why I'm here. Your parents you recently tried to set up a new restaurant in another part of Payel and racked up a list of final debts. Do check cat parental unit. <laughs> Thank you. I love the chat cat. It's our little chat mascot, and they use it to, uh, to torment me. <laughs> Do kindly pay the tax off with 70,000 coins or the premises will be repossessed and sold. 70,000? Are you insane? Oh, no. Why do they keep doing this? Personally speaking, if all taxpayers are as responsible as you, I'd be a very, I'd be very happy indeed. Good day. Why do I feel like this isn't going to be the last time? Hello, Palm. Wow, looks like the restaurant is getting really popular. It is! It's great to have so many customers, but it's tough when they always seem to want something new. That sounds stressful. No wonder you didn't see the postcard at your door. Another one? I'm sure it's from my parents again. Dearest darling Palm, we hear you're really turning the restaurant around. We're so proud of you and your success. After years of freelance adventuring, isn't it lovely to have a stable job and a steady income? We've just come back from visiting the frozen fjord. The wintry atmosphere was so charming, and we also had a refreshing dinner there. We wish you could have had some of our delightful prawn, so we've packed some for you. Your cool and loving parents, Mum and Dad. They seem to be having fun traveling around the, the world. I'm envious. How about traveling with your taste buds? I could add an item with prawn to the menu. What a good idea, Palm. And I bet you could find more ingredients like that at the Frozen Fjord. That's right. Looks like my parents are still out looking for me, wherever they are. Oh, looking out for me. I can read. Asshole stuff. Ah! Sir, Mrs. just resubscribed for two months. Thought I was already subscribed. You were. It just had run out. Thank you, Sid. I appreciate it. Thank you for the resub, hun. Thanks, Mom, Dad. Okay, quest updated. Uh, what do we get? The final debt. Ugh, why do I feel that's the, the end? All right, we still need a bunch of these things. Wait, I can see equipment? Oh. Eggbum. Kebab skewer. Pushing all the food out the end in a straight line, palm launch, then launches a spear, ending. Ooh. Okay. Um, okay, so let's see. We can put the prawn away. The final debt, and in quotation marks. Palm, my friend, my sibling in Christ, they're not looking out for you. They have racked up almost 100k in debts for you to pay, right? Be the, f the final int debt. Brewer, finding the perfect equipment to protect you while you hunt for ingredients to cook might be tough, but enhancing your equipment by brewing them can help. Visit your local brewer to make the perfect weapon or gear for your dungeon exploration. P.S. I've heard brewing your weapons with dishes can improve the chances of certain mods appearing. But mine are already perfect! Alright, where's Rosemary? Because we got a quest to turn in. Oh, you know what we could do? How much do we need for the final bag? We need like 5k. Damn it. Okay. What else we got? What else we got? What? Oh. Where is Wolfman? Where is Wolfman? Robbed. Alright. Hi, Nycha. Alright. Um. <laughs> me back. Me sabs me back. Indeed. All right, fried egg, me rebus, blended spice, and spicy soup. Okay, but I only need one spicy soup. Fried egg, me rebus. Do I have spicy soups in here? More for titty treatment and less condom. What, what recipe? Yes. 
Listen, Azu, it's a good thing that people know how to do those things, okay? It's always good that people are educated. Also, is that man around for me to give him some of these? You. Okay, I can give him six of them at least. Okay, so I needed fried egg. You're really happy that you managed to teach someone yesterday? Expecting to just repeating stuff that people already know? It's kind of surprising that some people don't know things. But I blame the American healthcare or American education system. I blame the American education system. Patch, what are you screaming about? Patch, what are you screaming about? She's a very angry kitty today. I don't know what she's all on about. Okay. What American education system? Ugh. I could get political chat very easily. I think she caught the cat and that mouse, but she's yelled at me like three times. Sex, quote unquote, education, don't do that, the end. Why are there so many teen pregnancies? Don't worry, teen pregnancy severely drops off at age 20. You don't have to worry about it much after that. <laughs> Okay, what else do I need? I need blended spices. Okay. You right, good point. <laughs> Azzy, would you never heard that joke before? All right, let's see, blended spices. I'm making my, uh, my do work today. Good night, Buck Dyer. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a wonderful sleep. That's that's a classic joke. <laughs> oh my god, Patch. I don't know why she's screaming. I just want to pick her up and hug her, but she's an idiot. Patch. Patch. What are you screaming about? Let's talk to Zenzu this time. We haven't talked to Zenzu in a while. Okay. Masala chai. And then we'll get this one next, and then this one next, I guess. Because we can't do this because we don't have the burger recipe. <gasps> oh, I gotta upgrade this. 5 HP over 9 seconds is, what, 45 HP? Which would make it the same as this, just heal slower. Hmm. Checking back in, we got that paste. You know what? I'll make some just for you. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make one spare paste just for you, Effie. Sabzi, I found several under a dresser and threw them out. There you go. There you go. One one extra paste just for you. I'll put it in the fridge. You can pick it up when you're ready, okay? You can pick it up when you're ready. It's in the fridge for you. A bowl of ketchup. <laughs> and then it actually put a ban on paste. You can no longer eat it. Shh. <laughs> I've given Davi a paste. <laughs> Drywall and wall paste? Shut up. Alright, let's do some cooking. <laughs> Why does everyone spell my name Hen too? I hate it here. Lunch rush. Oh shit! <laughs> Baby Hen at his circa 1988. She's like, she's right out of range. She's right out of range for like, if I reach, I can just barely touch her head. But if I get up, she's gonna run away. <laughs> like I have to, I have to lean over and reach as far as I can just to reach the tip of the top of her head and give her scritches. But if I get up, she's gonna run off. Aren't you, you little shit? <laughs> Hi Queens, mother existence. <laughs> Tomato is a fruit. Diogenes holding a bottle of ketchup. It'll be old as smoothie. <laughs> damn it, Dusk Plume. God damn it. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I would... If someone ever came up to me and were like, Hey, I want a ketchup smoothie, I would call the cops. <laughs> I would straight up just call the police. Mother, please, break this hell. Am I alive or dead, mother? Witness me, mother. Witness me from afar. <laughs> Can you have a ketchup smoothie? Is an anagram for hunt E. For hunt E. I'm hunting the E, yes. <laughs> Calling the police. Sabzi, can you make me- wait, wait, there's already a cell phone in- in VRM posing desktop, so, I mean, I could just boot that up and call the police. <laughs> I just call and be like, officer, I have a cat girl here who is demanding ketchup smoothies, and they would probably send an- uh, like a police officer with an ambulance and a psychiatrist for me. Yes, officer, that's the one. Isn't ketchup smoothie a Great Depression era recipe? I, I don't know. All I know is that this conversation has gone too far. Tomato is a fruit, and if we add sugar to a smoothie normally, does that does it really break the rules? I I, I mean I guess not. I just I don't feel like drinking ketchup is something you should be doing. I don't feel like that's a healthy way to spend your life. I'm not your real mom, I'm just your cat mom on the internet, so like, if you really want to drink a ketchup smoothie, that's on you, but I, I, I don't know if it's the best idea. <laughs> just saying. If there's a fucking ketchup smoothie in that cup, I will scream. What's your favorite topping for a hot dog? Oh, gotta be a smoothie, fam. Alright, this is the last customer I'm gonna serve today. Don't tell me that. You'll just be another mother figure. I'm disappointed if I had a dollar for each one. Well, I have, I'd have. i have, like, enough for a pizza, but still. <laughs> okay, okay, but hear me out. Imagine the sound of the slurp with how thick ketchup is. I'm gonna vomit. I'm gonna vomit. V8 is a tomato smoothie and people love it. Every day we drift further for God's light. <laughs> Every day we drift further from God's light. Bloody Marys are just tomato smoothies with booze. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yes. You're allergic to God's light. Decorations don't need to be on the walls. Far from finding the perfect centerpiece or welcoming entrance floor mat, you can find a wide array of floor decorations for any space. We've just bought brought in freshly woven rugs of the highest quality. Hojicha is only open and available on sweet days. New furniture. You gain in more customers, restaurant, reputation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. But you're not here, Alder. Sir, why do you hate me? Do people actually like V8 or they just say that because it's healthy? I don't- is it, is it actually healthy? Can go alongside other depression era recipes such as vinegar pot. What? 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 <laughs> You drink V8, but you're the worst. Is it actually healthy? Fuck this. I'm just gonna do another, like, cooking day. What? They have no food. Stop shaming them. Alright, listen. Sometimes people deserve to be shamed for their mistakes. <laughs> Sometimes people deserve to be shamed. Moderately healthy, the low-sodium version even more so. I see. It's juice, but you drink it for the bottles. You know what I miss? I miss the old glass bottle element drinks. Those things were fucking amazing. Do you remember those, chat? The element drinks? They were like, they came in the glass bottles, and then they re-released them later on in aluminum bottles. 
I feel like the aluminum ones weren't as good. Collecting V8 bottles sounds like- feels like a very Jeff man hobby. Mm. Indeed. What- what makes the V8 bottles special, Jeff man? Out of curiosity, what makes them special? You actually really like the V8 low sodium. So what you're saying is that you normally drink tomato smoothies. Wait a minute, so you're just trying to get bonus tomato smoothies out of me? Why am I calling it a tomato smoothie now? Why have I fallen this far? What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> Are you like the cat who, who gets fed in the morning and then screams that you haven't been fed so that you get fed a second time? <laughs> Are you the cat screaming that you've never been fed when you were obviously fed this morning? Motherfucker, I've been had! <laughs> Damn it, she found out. Not once in my life. X to doubt. The medium sizes are like a durable for their size. What? Quote number 974. Lightly salted can lightly suck my dick. Hanetta, you've never been fed, please. You have four around your bed, three at work, and one for your car. Jeffman, throw the bottles out. Throw the bot. Just, just, just throw them out. You don't need them. Put them in the recycle bin. Dr. Blood Vomit, I fed you earlier. <laughs> never. Just recycle them. Just recycle them. God damn it. <laughs> you never know when you need a durable bottle. <laughs> <gasps> I know what movie we need to watch. I know what movie we need to watch. Now that I'm remembering. Scatter, she's wised up. Oh, God, what the fuck was the name of it? Was it Little Monsters? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to look this up. I have to look this up. Hold on. Fred Savage Filmography. Fred Savage. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Filmography, film. Uh, Little Monsters, that's the one. Little Monsters. Alright, that's what we're gonna watch. It's a 1989 comedy movie. I gotta see if- well, if I can find a copy of it. We'll just get some hats and come back. She'll never know. Excuse me as you go refill your bottles. I gotta find out if I can get a copy of Little Monsters. Have you guys seen it? Have you guys seen that movie? It's a trip. It's a weird movie. Anyway, the bottle thing made me remember because there's a scene where, uh, where, uh, the, the, they, they prank somebody by opening his apple juice and drinking it and then pissing in it. Thanks for refilling the tomato paste bottles. God damn it. Is that like the movie with little dinosaurs? Fun fact, Fred Savage was also in the movie Little Dinosaurs, but no, it's not. Maybe don't refill them, that's what made the, <laughs> the game to mind. <laughs> Listen. Listen. Chat calls me a piss cat often enough, all right? He's actual under the bed monster and piss like a fire hose. <laughs> what the heck? I feel like if you become a VTuber, chat just is gonna call you a piss whatever you are. You're a piss cat, a piss dragon, a piss dog. You're just a piss whatever. Piss villain. You're, it's just piss. It's piss all the way down. It's piss all the way down. I fucking hate it. <laughs> We're learning things today, aren't we? Stop calling us piss cats! That's all they say. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's hell. Stinky piss cat? Okay, I don't get called a stinky piss cat. I guess my my piss catness is less stinky. That's a weird sentence. I don't know why I said that. Do you drink asparagus? Do, do you eat do you eat asparagus, Effie? Is that why you're stinky? <laughs> is that why your piss stinks? <laughs> Don't. 
<laughs> Was that your mom's name? Pinky, why would you say that? <laughs> why would you commit this crime, Pinky? Fragrant. Ugh. Someone frying chicken in here? Asparagaffy? <laughs> oh no. This is this is the worst day of my life. Alright, last customers. This this one's the last customer. I can hear her back there playing with the fucking cat and mouse. <sighs> yeah. <coughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You know what? At least they're not talking about the Haninas. At least they're not talking. God damn it, Golden! No! 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 Stop it! You'd hate to eat at your diner and all here's the kitchen is the cook talking about this. The what? Uh, you want to ask what you're terrified? Do we do? Th My chat seems to like the, the hininess for some reason. Why? I don't know. But they certainly like tormenting me. You want to ask what you're terrified? So so here's here's the thing. Chat likes to put parts of my name around words. They like to make portmanteaus. Like they call me Ancient Nedu instead of Ancient. So it happens a lot. If you if you look at the tags, you'll you'll understand. <laughs> they like to make portmanteaus of my voice because they want me to suffer. I'm going to bed. You mean what? Shut up. If you say that I have paused one more time, I'm gonna bop you. The Hanak. I hate it here. <laughs> Word around the office is you got a fat knock. <laughs> I don't know why that one's so funny. <laughs> that one's way funnier to me. Oh my god. The Haneener. Jesus Christ. Hello, tall man. I need more wood. I need more wood. I don't have any wood. Oh, wait. A small wooden vintage table. That's a lot of words. Oh, this is actually much... Oh, wait. It only, like, starts to line up here. Ooh, look at that. I can get wooden vintage tools. A fifth bottle is where you draw the line. Hanak, I'm coming in. Oh, my God. Wiener is just funny to say. You're right. Jeffman. Nothing wrong with the Hanak. A little Haneener in. A real uh, anatuanini? I don't even know what that last one is. I need more wood, but you got stop. God damn it! God fucking damn it! I hate it here. I'm 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 gonna make some money. I'm gonna make some more money. What does Claire want? All oh, right, she wanted water. Can I make water? Is, like, water a thing that I can make? Tentacle. Like, is sparkling water a thing I make, or... I guess so? You can make water. You know a really easy way to make money in this game? A uh, hut nanny, but you know, ah. Uh. What, what is an easy way to make money? Is it prostituting myself? Out on the street corner? Hmm. That would increase the capacity. 
Saltwood and Moonstone. Paste. You just wanna you just wanna catch up smoothie. Shut up. Shut up. Look, I made myself dizzy. Prostitate your parents so they don't have to. S yeah. Track down mom and dad and smack them until they stop spending money. Wait, do you do you mean prostate or prostrate? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just thinking of the 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 joke from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Also a fantastic movie. You think he means prostitute? Oh. That's that's a different thing. You guys just want me to step on you. Oh, I guess I do need a steppy emote, don't I? That should be one of the new animated emotes I get, is a steppy emote. Don't ask me to spell well on the internet. Fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean, whoa, whoa, whoa? Should watch Roger Rabbit. It's a good movie. Not the beat. Shut up. Bold of you to assume. But, but hold on, hold on. But hold on. Hold on, look. But I have such nice heels. Don't you want me to step on you with them? Don't you want me to step on you with my nice heels? What if, what if, hold on, what if I switched models and I put on my other outfit? Hold on, hold on, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. What if I stepped on, oh, that's Booba. What if I stepped on you with these heels? Look at how cute these heels are. Look at how cute these heels are. What if I stepped on you with those? Just a little, a little, little steppies. Little steppies. Those are really cute, aren't they though? They're really cute. Tibby did a great job on these. You know, it would seal the deal. If you say pause, if you say beans, I guess I'll keep this outfit on now that I've changed. Shut up, Golden! If you say- I swear to God, if you say paste, if you say paste! No! No! God damn it! <laughs> I've been had! <laughs> Fucking sip him out with a little thumb up. Fucking hell. But also, yes, please, steppies. I think the skirt is the bigger selling point. This is true. This is true. We do have a skirt on now. Ever had bean pot? The fuck is a... You know what? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I'm not asking. I'm not asking, and you're not telling me. Mm -hmm. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Quote number 580. Oh my god, I have an ass crack stitch. You know, Effie, you could probably go to Blue YouTube and find someone stepping in tomato paste if you want the crossover. <laughs> I mean, probably. This is the chat that Hineto has cultivated over the last few years. I have Raggarts. I have Raggarts, chat. We're having- we're having this nice, cute game. Raggart's tomato put? Yes. That's the brand name, is Raggart's. Just turn back time in un unregret? Yeah. No, not. I don't. I'm not putting my feet in food. That's weird. I'm not doing that. Listen, I get that some people are into that sort of thing, but I'm not one of them. <laughs> Time for class. Keep having fun. Have a good day, Max. 
Uh, okay, Golden, I have seen that picture and it makes me physically ill. I have seen that picture and it makes me want to violently vomit. When the streamer offers steppies, but you counter with cringe. Yeah. Just, you just do it for the bit. I'm beginning to wonder how many of you are doing it for the bit and how many actually like feet. Hi, Captain Funk, how are you? You're good, excellent. Remember your 99% for the bit. That means you're 1% not! I'm okay, but my chat is full of fucking degenerates tonight. You don't think anyone here actually cares for them? I'm beginning to wonder. You know, two people actually honestly like feed and it ruins steppies. Oh, I'm sorry. You're just here for the paste. I told you, it's in the fridge! See, it's right here, your special paste. It's your special tomato paste. <clears throat> I made it especially for you. You just have to come pick it up. All right, I'm not making any more food. When these two are done, it's over. Also being stepped on with Slotas isn't nearly as fun as people expect. Okay, listen, we've been over this. The goal is not to hurt somebody. The goal is to, you know, have... You, you gently push. You don't stomp on them. You just kind of gently, you know? You're not finished you, but you had a thing happen during um fun time that has you questioning that. Something, something Shakespeare quoted about the truth spoken in jest. I know that. You know that. The drunk person who did it forgot. You know what? I, I, I understand, D, and I'm sorry. Alright, let's go... We can't upgrade our bag today, never mind. And we need supplies before we can do that. Let's go to the Frozen Fjord. The Frozen Fjord. <clears throat> Icy valleys that are at times a winter wonderland, during others a frigid blight of permafrost. Garnered fame from mysterious flowerage that appeared at freezing temperatures and ice cubes that act as its guardians. A common source for ice crystals used in many drinks and cold recipes. Also, I want you guys to know I got an achievement earlier for um, you can cook a les cuisine. Unlock 68 recipes. Well, Shakespeare's dead, so what does he know? You had a bruise on your sternum like you got railgunned by a tiny EVA. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, the fact that it wasn't 69 is a travesty. Alez Cuisine, yes. Brr, it's so cold. I'm sure I'll get used to it soon, but now I wish I wore something thicker. Hey, there's something on the ground. A tenderizer? It won't keep me warm, but it sure is. I'm sure it's useful. It's been a while since I've been somewhere new. I wonder what interesting ingredients I'll find here. I love how I found a tenderizer that's just, like, a worse version of my current one. We love an Iron Chef reference. Imagine having enough blood to bruise. Imagine having blood. Couldn't be me. So are we getting regular stone or, like, ice stone? We're just getting regular stone. Okay. <clears throat> If you lack blood, you do have this tomato paste. Are you are you substituting bodily fluids for tomato paste? Is that legal? Are you allowed to do that? <gasps> I got a crab. Ah oh, shit, I got crabs. Bonus lore question, do you have blood? Yes. Look at this giant octopus man with boxing gloves. Oh god! He drops tentacles. Shows up better on camera. You have some tomatoes. I'm a cat. Are they, are they really gonna stop me? I mean, they might try and put, like, handcuffs on you. I don't know if that would be effective, but they can try. 
Ooh, that's a trap! Ha has anyone ever tried to handcuff a cat? Is it possible to handcuff a cat? <clears throat> these, are, these are the things that keep me up at night. Is it possible to handcuff a cat? I see you, you motherfucker. Oh god, that's... That was a big crap. I got thumbs and stuff, so yes, but I played Oopsie Daisy, Your Honor. Okay, but see, my chat cats don't have thumbs. I specifically made sure they didn't because they would be able to do too much evil if they had thumbs. So I had to make sure that they did not have thumbs uh, as a safety precaution. So chat cats do not have thumbs. They would be far too powerful if they did. He's like a... He's like a... Interesting. Oh dear! Oh dear! Okay. I've seen you play Hunt. Those weren't oopsies. That explains the amount of evils you commit. I feel like every ca uh, listen, listen. I understand the the desire to commit evil as a feline. As a feline, the desire to commit evil is there, and it is permanent, and it's like Gladys with testing. You get an itch if you don't commit it, and you just can't quite scratch that itch unless you commit crimes. You're compelled. How do they build their underground floor systems without thumbs? They somehow managed to forge my signature to hire contractors, and then summarily threw those contractors into pits. So I'm not entirely sure. I do get it. Listen, listen. You can't not commit evil as a cat, okay? It's it's ingrained in you, okay? Have you ever met a cat? All they do is sleep and commit atrocities. It's what we're bred for. It's our calling. It's our meaning in life. <laughs> Have you ever met a cat? They're all evil. <laughs> if they love you, it's it's just pretense to commit more evil. Your cat attacks your legs for fun. When I was growing up, my first pet was a cat named Jewel. We got him from the neighbors, right? And the house that we lived in when I was little was a townhouse that had... Uh, so the front of the house had a the living room. And then there was a hallway that led to the kitchen. And the cat would lay in that hallway, because in that little mini hallway, like, it was a really small hallway. Like, really only about as wide as a door and a half. So that hallway went from the living room to the kitchen, and on one side was the pantry, and on the other side was the bathroom. So the cat would lay in between those four entry points, the bathroom, pantry, kitchen, living room, on his back, and if you tried to walk over him, he would claw at you from the floor. So you'd go to step over him, and he'd just, like, fucking wreck your ankles. He was a little shit. We promised many contractors in Nina's pictures the foolish fools. Oh my god. Cats are all love and fluff until they piss on your bed and call holes into your electric blankets. Exactly. Listen, it was your fault for having a blanket, if we're being completely honest. Maybe you shouldn't have had a blanket. Did you think about that? If you didn't want it destroyed, you shouldn't have owned it. You dare approach me? Cat, I can't walk past you without getting closer. Oh, then it looks... Then come as close as you like. Yeah, Cat's like, oh my god, I'm having so much fun hurting you. I miss that cat. I loved that cat. That was my first pet. Actually, wait a minute. I think I think Dino is our Dino is our first pet, the dog. I don't remember that dog very well though. Which feels kind of like I was just so little. But I remember we had a dog as well before I got Noel. You're getting you're getting the deep Hanedu lore of real life. 
Mudding your shins on the way to the bathroom. Yeah. Ah! Oh! <laughs> that could have been very bad for me. No, no, no. We had a, a golden... Or not golden. We had a, a, a black Labrador retriever that I was given as a Christmas present one year by my grandmother. She was my dog at the end of the day. Ah, it's Demi Deviant. Welcome in. Hello. Thank you for the raid. Embrace the void. Oh, honey, we are way past that. Hello, plus Draco. Hello, Demi. How are you doing today? Thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? Tell me all about it. My name is Sonetta. We are currently playing some cuisine here, and I'm reminiscing about my childhood. For reasons unknown. Um, but no, I had a... I had a black Labrador retriever that um, her mother had gotten hit by a car. So the owners were giving the puppies away. And my grandmother got her as a Christmas gift for her. Hence, hence her being named Noelle was because she was a Christmas gift. But welcome in, Raiders. How was your stream? The Void is your love life? <laughs> yeah, me too. Maybe they should have negotiated with terrorists. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, we have one of these? Ah, oh, shit. What are these po- Oh, God! Doing alright. Played a few things. Some Horizon Zero Dawn, DRG, and a little demo of the Vampire... Survivor style shooty card game called Earl vs. the Mutants. Nice. We consolidated all the bean commands because they were getting spammed. That sounds like fun. I hope you had a wonderful stream. And thank you so much for bringing you peoples in to say hello to me. I appreciate that. You get the juicy preaches. Don't ask what the juicy preaches are. It doesn't make any sense. Without context, none of this makes sense. I promise, none of it makes any sense. It's kind of my life lately. Is, is not making any sense. Okay, sorry. I gotta kill this. I gotta kill this prawn that's shooting at me. Nice, juicy, juicy chat cats. Yes. Oops. <gasps> Resources. All right, we're even getting some of the moonstone and salt. Would we need? We've also picked up some ice crystals. A giant block of ice, great on a hot day. Tentacles, chat, tentacles. It was all right. Mondays tend to be low energy chill streams. It's pretty low key. You know, that's fair. I totally get that. Sometimes you just gotta vibe a little, you know? But I appreciate the raid. Penitolor goes deep, but it's been fun to learn. Listen, listen. Sometimes I like to reminisce about my childhood. I actually have some funny stories about, like, Jewel, for example. So, we moved when I was a kid. Uh, we moved away from that townhouse, right? And, um, no. And when we did, our the house we were buying was getting built still. So, um... We lived with my my dad's mother, like my grandma on my mom on my dad's side, for a little while while the house was getting built. Like literally, like two months. It wasn't very long at all, just long enough for the house to be finished. Um, <gasps> Ken Kyrie, thank you for the raid. This game is uh, you are adventuring to collect ingredients and then running a restaurant. Cats send love. Hello, raiders. Hi, four. Hi, Kit and Kyrie. How are you? Thank you for the raid. We were just talking about uh, who I am because we got a raid just a minute ago. My name is Hanedu. I am your local idiot cat girl who is uh, getting bullied today. Uh, we were talking about my childhood. Anyway, uh, but how was your stream? What were you playing? Tell me all about it. You're ending way earlier than usual. Don't you usually go later than this? I hope everything is well. But welcome in. And thank you for doing the shout out. Um, so anyway, we lived up at my grandmother's house for like, just not very long, like a month or two. The cat escaped one day and uh, we lost him for a while. 
And it wasn't for like a couple of weeks and a couple of days later that he came back. We had let him out like on the back room, like the porch around back and he had escaped. And for whatever reason, he decided that he wanted to come back in through the front door because that's where all the people came in. Unfortunately, he did escape a second time later and did not come back that time, which was very sad. But it was just kind of an interesting story that he, like, showed up from, um, from nowhere in the front door when he had left in the back door. I'm gonna stand over here for a minute where it's safe. Hello, Mr. Krabs. You fucking wrecked. <laughs> Doing well, had to short in today because you have an interview in the morning. You're playing Monster Hunter World. Been playing that pretty much all month because you're hyper fixation right now. But you're gonna wind down and relax. Yes, I had noticed that you were playing it. It's a fun game. I, I might be starting to replay Monster Hunter World here soon because everybody else is playing it and I kind of want to get in on that. I hope your interview tomorrow goes well, though. Dumbfuck gentleman used the front door. Exactly. Monster Hunter is worth a few fixations. Mm-hmm. But monster... But why be a monster hunter when you can be a monster fucker? Just a thought. Oh, Kurinar, thank you for the follow. Anyway, yeah, this game is, um, a, it's one of the little two-parters, kind of like, um, where, like, there's a, uh, there's a section where you play as an adventurer, and then you have to alternate with cooking. So you go back to the house, and you cook to make money, and then you use that money to upgrade your house and get better weapons and stuff. And then you go, uh, fighting monsters to get ingredients for everything. We hunt, we fuck, we drink five bottles of water, stay hydrated. For that sense of humor, yeah, that's a follow for me. Ayo. I don't think I'm hunting. Uh, hunting. Hunting that wrath of Lucy. Oh, God. I don't think I'm particularly funny, but if you guys think I'm funny, then I'm more than happy to, to let you guys hang out and enjoy your time. Oh, God, no. I fell. Mmm, <gasps> delicious drink. I am more than happy to have you guys here. Inside cats. I must escape. I must be free. Inside cats and they get inside. This is horrible. I hate this place. Why it's so big and loud? <laughs> you know, I too am an inside cat. I am an inside cat girl. The outside has other people in it and I don't like that. I don't like other people, chat. I don't want to have to deal with those weirdos outside. They're all very strange. <laughs> I'm more than happy being an inside cat. Bonk! Oh, I'm getting low on hell. probably try not getting low on health. I do see a shrine up there, though. Okay, that's another health shrine. Uh, are you in other people? You are a Jeff man. So I think by virtue of being a man, you are, in fact, another people. I mean, I could be wrong. But... Joke's on you, your community is full of weirdos. Yeah, but you're my weirdos. You're not, like, weirdos out on the street. God, imagine dealing with weirdos out on the street. That would be cringe. You're a simple cryptid with varying degrees of physicality and presence within reality. As you should be. Oh, my butt hurts. I've been, I've been sitting still for too long, chat. Also, also, notice that I have 69 health. Nice. Nice. All right, we're going to go this way first. Hanedu is scared of the sound of Justin's voice. Dude, I just didn't expect you to start talking. It startled me, okay? It's 
startled me. I didn't expect anything. To simplify, your father, his child, gets away with too much because of her mother. Aw. Kids these days and their parents. When someone comes into a streamer's chat and is uncomfortable, uncomfy weird, you can just ban. When uncomfy weirdos come into streamer's personal space, then the streamer has to commit battery. I mean, that's pretty true. My weirdos are okay because if they were not okay, I would ban them. It is rare for you to speak because you sounded so nice telling me hello. Aww. Strangers have to do the slow blink at me. I'm just dashing everywhere. I'm not even attacking, I'm just dashing and getting kills, and I love that for me. I no longer have 69 health, though, which is kind of sad. We no longer have 69 health, chat. Rippers. Is this 4-3? This is 4-3, so there is a boss here. I have to be aware of that. The lizard blink that the model did when you attempted to slow blink. No, 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 I did that on purpose. I did, like, one, one blink at a time. Gripper, shut up. Can, can you guys not blink one at a time, chat? Is that like a weird skill that I have where I can blink one eyeball at a time? I'm pretty sure it's just winking in succession. Sir! There's a broken. T oh no, that's the pipe. Okay. Never mind. Okay. You can you train yourself to? Oh, wait, is that non lethal? Checks. Good. Whenever I get into a fight, I can club people to death non lethally. Your cat will also soul blink with the eyes staggered. You're gonna say that it's just winking. You can also move your eyes independently like a chameleon. I can a little bit, but only a little bit. Oh, nope. Not getting killed by no fuck off squid boy. All right, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Wait, am I already full up on stuff? I am. How do I discard? I don't know why I discarded that in favor of the rice, but I did. Alright, I should be able to get to the next... To that other, um... Potion. If I'm careful. I winked at us then? I did, I winked at you, chat. Enjoy my wink. Okay, we're up to 53 again. That's good. Dead end. That might be the boss. Oh, interesting. I will pay respects at this shrine. Okay, let's go fight the boss, Chad. I'm a little afraid. I can cross her eyes, but only to Ahagao face. Um, I think it gives us a divine... a clobber. Ooh. I can do that too, buddy. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I gotta not dash into him. Alright, I can't look at chat for a minute. Oh god, oh god, that's a lot. Oh. 
Sorry, I really I have to focus on this. Shit. I might, I might. I got a kite. Ah, oh, that missed entirely. Oh god! I won! Holy shit, I won! Oh my god, I won. I got a swordfish. Um, let's get rid of that. And a smackerel. My goodness, I won. Hi, Jessica. Easy. Yeah, first try. First try. Easy clap. Easy clap. Fun. Hold on. My son says they can defocus their eyes at will, it actually means that they should be wearing glasses and they defocus, they're just relaxing a bit because they're used to straining their eyes constantly. That's fair. Nice work. Thank you, wannabe. Beat it by just one whisker, basically. You have 20-20, but your sister needs glasses? You wonder what nickname for Hen that it would be Henenny? What? <laughs> Alright, let's head back. What? I have three HP left, chat. Holy god damn. Speaking of holy god damn, 69, nice. Hi, Mechanical Gooba. Hi, Grom. Hi, Money Mercs. Hi, Astral Snow Light. Hi, Cressy. 69 Raiders is very nice, Grom. How are you doing today? How? Ow, <laughs> Keo. Thank you for the slow Kyo's money being thrown at me. For 15 months. Thank you for 15 months. 2,885. Hi, Cressy. What is 2,885? Thank you for the raid. How was your stream, Grom? How are you? New Carpenters. Heard you back from the Frozen Fjord. Hope you're keeping warm. You know, there's such a nice material there, so I made some cool furniture. Remember, you're always welcome to come by my shop and look at some of my designs. I'm sure I'll have something you'll like. You finally counted your emote, 2,885. Hi, Derma. Hades meets cute restaurant? Kind of. No wonder why your hands are dead. You have drawn a lot. Anyway, welcome in. We're playing Cuisine here today. It is a cute little... Thank you for the follow, Mechanical Koopa. It is a cute little uh, alter... Like, it's kind of like Hades, where it's got the hack and slash isometric stuff going on, and then you run a restaurant that's very cute. Um, my name is Sanetto. I say a lot of really stupid things. And, uh, my quote bot makes me regret them. Cute gameplay by Cute Cat Girl. Shut up, Golden. I'm not cute. Uh, Grom is a buddy of mine, and you should all go follow him. Quote number 1026. 10 out of 10 game. I fucking hate it. Everyone should play it. Hey, it's me talking about Soma. The air smells sweet tonight. Oh, it smells like boba. A remedy for stomachache. Oh, help me. Someone help me, please. Ow. What's wrong? You seem to be in a lot of pain. I'm having a terrible stomach ache. It must have been something I ate while traveling. You can't always trust the food stalls at the side of the road. I wish I had some tentacle soup. My mother always made that for me, and it worked wonders as a medical formula. <gasps> tentacle soup! <clears throat> the meat has a distinct gamey taste, which complements the aromatic broth. Reminds you of Reketeer or Moonlighter? Yes, I have been describing it like Moonlighter. How was your stream, though, Grom? What were you doing today? 
You looked up Soma and got Bras. So it's the game name? No, Soma is the name of the game. S-O-M-A. Look it up on Steam. I don't think you'll find Bras if you look it up. A warm herbal dish that ages like fine wine and gets better with time. You're just being boring and organizing your emote sheet so it's nice and pretty. I did see that you had titled your stream Boring. It's actually not that hard to cook, but I don't have the tentacles I need to make it. I can help you get the ingredients. You would do that? Thank you so much. I'll give you the recipe for the formula in exchange. Ah, oh, please hurry. Invader Des, thank you for the follow. Ain't Soma the drug in Brave New World 2? I don't know. Aromatic broth, so like my powerful soup. Shut up. All right, so let's see. I give him these tentacles. Hallelujah, you've saved me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here's the instructions for the tentacle soup I'll make. It's an old recipe by my mother. Feel free to share it around. I love how it's holding the spoon. All right. Oh, Palm, what a coincidence. Could you help me with something? What can I do for you? I really want to drink Nietzsche's newest boba, but I need something to go with it. Could you get me some grilled fish? If you do, I'll reward you handsomely. What do you have to give me? A recipe for one of the best dishes in the world. Grilled salmon with rice. <gasps> Nutritious salmon grilled to warm, salivating perfection with some light and fluffy rice to complement its true smooth, buttery texture. Hurry, though. I really want to drink the boba soon. Ten grilled fish. Can I make ten grilled fish? Tentacle. I'm making you hungry, as I should. Can I make ten grilled fish? That's fried, not grilled. Where's grilled? It's not grilled. It's grilled. Grilled fish. I can. I can, in fact. I'm trying to put as much stuff away as I can. fish. This is a very sweet game so far. Okay. Okay. Soma is also Latin meaning body, and in modern biology, Soma refers to the native cells and organism minus any bacteria or any other symbiotic organisms. You know, that's probably why it's called Soma, if we're being completely honest. Also shows up in words like somatic. All somiermatic. Wait, what? Okay, I gotta hurry, because we're gonna run out of time on this one. Come on, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Okay. I only have tw I only have a couple of minutes left before midnight when everything breaks. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here you go, sir. Amazing. That was faster than I expected. Oh, I completed 30 side quests. Faster than expected. Here's your reward, the recipe for grilled salmon with rice. Hell yeah. I've gotta go. I hear the boba calling to me. All right, we gotta hurry, we gotta hurry, we gotta hurry, we gotta talk to this child, we gotta talk to this child. I would tell Dad not to work if he feels sick, but I know he won't listen to me. Hey, you own that restaurant, that nice restaurant, don't you? Yes, I do. What can I do for you? I have a favor to ask you. Do you think you can get me some tough meat? Yes, I could, but what do you need it for? I'm thinking of making something for my father when he comes home, and it's a key ingredient for my burger dish. <gasps> I need the burger recipe! Yes, Soma is a great game that I hate. A th dish with thick, juicy meat patty, fresh vegetables, and creamy condiments, all sandwiched in fluffy hot buns. It is a universal delight for the taste buds all around. Exchange your kindness, I'll show the recipe when you get back. Sounds like a good deal, I'll be right back. Right, I don't think we're gonna have enough time for this one. What do we need for this? Great game that you hate, what the, explain? Um, it, it hits a specific trigger of mine. It hits a very specific trigger of mine. Do I have 20 tough meat?
Okay, ten minutes, ten minutes, nine minutes, nine minutes, eight minutes. It just the it, I can't I can't explain it without spoiling the game. But it hits this very specific trigger of mine. Very specific thing that makes me feel uncomfortable. Hooray, thank you, Palm. You're really generous. Hopefully my father will like this burger recipe too. <gasps> Great game made you think, but it didn't like the thoughts it made you think. Very important. 10-10, but fuck you, Soma. I'm exhausted. Time to get some rest. For making me feel those things. The game touches your butt. <laughs> the game is about, uh, like, the psyche and your physical form in a lot of ways. And if you've ever heard my teleporter rant about why I don't trust teleporters, you'll kind of understand the general vibe of the video game. Needless to say, I fucking hate it. It's not a game I like because of the content. However, it's presented amazingly well. You haven't heard that rant? Well. <laughs> Reputation level. Hi, Pom. Don't worry. What you've been receiving all this time isn't from some suspicious person. I actually found those restaurant tips while sorting out your parents' trash. I know you've been dealing with a lot since you've returned, so I hope that they helped. However, here's one final tip for me. Your reputation affects your opportunities in town. By increasing your reputation, you'll receive more support to improve your restaurant. Completing quests and serving customers are the best ways to increase your reputation, so remember to open your restaurant and help others. Okay. Are there any new ones? There's a new one for NYCHA! Um... Hey Grom, what do you think of the big-titted cowgirl? Hey Sugar, want to taste my newest experiments? Sunny was oh, I'm so bored. I don't want to tend the shop. Hey, Nigel, what's going on? Zenzu has left me to take care of the shop today, but I'm restless and I want to go out. The question is, would you play Soma 2 or a similar game? If it was if it was as well done as Soma is, yes. I feel like my discomfort made for great content. Listen, Soma is a game that I don't like because of the fact of like what type of content it is, but I think, I think he, the question was if there was. Um, but I think that it's a fantastic game. Like, it's it's a 10-10 game. You have utterly no beef with her. You're grounded like that. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you're lucky you're my friend, or I would have banned you for that one. <laughs> you're just certain everything because you're lazy? Yeah. Um, it, it's... It's like seeing someone with a beautiful tattoo of a pile of shit. Like somebody just painstakingly recreated a photorealistic turd. Right? Kind of. I, you'd have to play it. It's on YouTube if you want to watch. Um, it's, it's something that is so well put together, but it triggers things that I hate. It would be like watching a really good horror movie, but you faint at the, at the sight of blood. If you faint at the sight of blood, a horror mo movie might be a fantastic movie, but you're like, you can't watch it because you're fainting, you know? So the content of the game triggers a very specific, I don't want to say phobia, but something that I hate, but it's so well done that I recommend the game to everyone. It's a masterpiece and I hate it. You wanna go out? I need some inspiration to make some spanking new tests. <laughs> spanking. Oh no, is there anything I can do to help? Not really. Oh, unless you get me some sunstone to keep me going. If I can't go outside to see the sun, at least I can have it inside with me. Please, please, Palm. I'll give you a recipe for fried calamari if you do me this favor. Ooh. Okay, so a squid tentacles thickly coated in flour and cornstarch, then deep fried until golden brown and crispy, a dish you will never tire of. Yeah, exactly. People haven't played or watched the game. You don't want things spoiled for you. Hi, Shadowbriar. The game's going great. You could definitely add this to your dish to your menu. That sounds delicious. Not to worry, Nightshot. I'll be right back with what you need. Okay, let's go get her some sensor. Um, I don't trust teleporters. Spanking with the hot lo the hot cackerel waitresses? <gasps> They're cowgirls, hon. So, I don't trust teleporters. You know how some people don't like, like, uh, like Sean Bean won't get in a helicopter? I won't do teleporters, because teleporters are suicide boxes. You get into a teleporter, and what comes out is a copy of you. You die. And a copy with all your memories, 
and everything that looks like you is put in your place. You're dead. It's a suicide box. I like how she's like, Zenzu left the shop today, but Zenzu's right next to her. So that's why I don't like it. But does it really, though? Yes! I'm feeling inspired already. Thanks, Palm. Here's a recipe for fried calamari. Honestly, the making Cal girls makes the spanking better. That's the thing. Okay. I'm gonna cut three new flavors at the end of the day. I'll have something new for the next time you come around. That's, that's the thing, okay? Listen, 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 listen to me. Teleporters break your body down on a molecular level. They turn you into electrons and shove those electrons into a hose. And then a bunch of electrons that are already in the hose are pushed out the other end and make a new version of you. The Star Trek, the teleporter malfunction have explicitly made copies of people and left the original at the point of origin, but they still use them for some reason and it makes no sense. Exactly. It deconstructs you, murders you, and then uses a bunch of identical electrons and DNA splices to reconstruct you. You're dead. A copy of you is wandering around. Okay? That's why I don't like teleporters because it's a fucking suicide box. And everything about the game Soma is basically a, but what if suicide box? I hated it. However, it's a fantastically presented game. It is the ugliest thing you've ever seen, painted beautifully. Dest deconstruct destructively digitizes you and 3D prints a replica. Exactly. All right, let's do these other quests. It's fascinating how tireless you seem in your optimism. It's rather endearing as well. Hello there, little kitty. I hope you're well. H Hi, Ankaloon. What a coincidence seeing you here. It would be charming indeed to imagine we're fated to meet. But alas, I've actually been searching for you, or rather, someone of your skills. You, you have? Wh why? I'm in the business of concocting a rather special spice, and unfortunately I'm short of some salt wood. I was wondering if you could provide some assistance in this matter. In exchange, I'll provide you with a recipe for okonomiyaki I've earned on night travels. Okonomiyaki. A traditional fritter dish with fresh shredded cabbage, eggs, flour, and juicy meat fried into a delectable pancake of savory goodness, popular among the masses. What do you say? Why am I doing a voice like this for him? Wormholes are one thing. Let's tamper the fabric of space and spa save time. But being deconstructed at molecular level, I think I'm good, thanks. Exactly! Ghost in the Shell style cybernetics. They, okay, the cybernetics in Ghost in the Shell, you always kept your original brain and spinal cord. In Ghost in the Shell, your brain and spinal cord was the only thing they didn't replace. Your, your brain was put inside of a brain case. Now that opens up a different question of mortality and whether you can be a, can you still be human or are you just an android that's programmed to think you have a brain inside you because you can't see it because you can't take your own brain out and look at it. So how would you know that you have a brain and you're not just a robot? There's no way to prove it. Oxygen Clit is a teleporter that explicitly states that it's an extremely painful and precise process that, that dissects the teleporter to build an exact copy of the target. Let's just, it's a suicide box! Episode where Lieutenant Barclay shows reluctance in teleport. It is shown in the episode to be dangerous and bad, and then the other characters in the show still treat him as weird for it, and he's over it at the end of the episode. And somehow a good ending. Ugh. You mean you would kill to be in a body like Makoto? I mean, fair. Aren't all our atoms at one point- No, you're not getting into the Shiba Thesis argument! We're not fucking doing this! We're not doing this! <laughs> the sniper's X makes a perfect copy of them and they face off against each other and one comes back, they don't know which it is and proclaim it doesn't matter. Kind of fucked with you? Yeah. Would opening it destroy the brain? Is there a brain at all? Who said the teleport word? <laughs> we started talking about Soma because of one of the quotes. This is why we don't mention teleporters, because it starts a whole fucking thing. I don't like teleporters. I'm not doing it. Shut the fuck up. I'm done. I'm done. What do you say? I suppose I could help. Excellent. I'll be waiting patiently for your return, my little kitty. Saltwood. Okay. Hi, Biscotti. If you ever need anything from my garden, let me know. Everyone says my crops are the best. Helping out my best friend. Hey, Palm. How are things going at the restaurant? Everything is going really well. What about you? What are you up to? Uh, busy as always. I have a farm where I grow fresh vegetables and sell them to the townspeople. Wow, that's really impressive. Tending to crops requires so much dedication. It does, but that means I can't leave it alone for too long, even wanting to get other supplies. Like right now, I really need some saltwood to build a new fence. 
but no one is free to look after my farm while I'm gone. Hmm. Why don't I help you get some? At least I could do after everything you've done for me. Oh, that'd be amazing, Palm. While you do that, I'll go find the, my old family recipe for fish and chips. Ooh. I... So teleporters. Don't mention teleporters! Hi, Atera. Can you do a shout-out for Atera? I think this game is adorable, and I love it, and Chad is distracting me with teleporter talk, and I am very triggered by that. Interesting it turned out a few copies. Just, just stop it! Stop talking about teleporters. How have you been, Atera? I hope you're doing well. Everybody go follow Atera. They're great. And having a new debut soon. When is your, is your debut in March or February? Atera has a, a full 2.0 uh, re-debut coming out soon, and you should definitely go check them out. You listen to a podcast that has a raccoon named Biscotti? That's really cool. Jessica, shut the fuck up! You, sh you, you shut the fuck up right now! If you don't shut the fuck up, I'm gonna scream! I will scream! Hi, Ghostly Range, how are you? Why that fish and chick looks so good, you want some now? It does. You had a nightmare, so you're watching stream, and you make me smile. Rigging will be done at the beginning of March? Hell yeah! This looks delicious. Fresh fried golden into fr blah, blah, blah. scream. Do it. Ah! Wait, we have an alert for that. Hold on. No, I'm not gonna. Eh, I'm too lazy. Thank you for doing the shout out. Everybody, go follow Tara. Fresh fish fried in a golden crispy batter with a side of soft potato fries. Add a bit of lemon squeeze for that perfect kiss of tangy acidity. I can't have you work for nothing, so you have you can have the recipe when you get me what I need. Sounds like a deal. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just need more salt wood for both of them. You're, you're doing all right? Good. Do not eat batteries! The shit I put up with. I'm sorry you had a nightmare, though, Atera. I hope it wasn't too bad. I hate nightmares. I've been having them again. I had one! I had one... I think while I was at work earlier. Ghost in the Shell style Cyber Night Spy would be a godsend for a trans woman like me. Mood. Listen, I, I'm totally okay with cyber bodies, but not teleports. I think I had a nightmare. I'm pretty sure I had a nightmare. In fact, I'm pretty sure I wanted to mention the nightmare to you guys, but now I'm blanking on what it was. I must say, I'm not at all surprised at your success. You're proving to be a wonderful asset to the town. Here's the recipe for Okonomiyaki, as a sign of my thanks. Everyone having a dream or a nightmare, and then there's me accidentally killing yourself and never having a dream since. That's a nightmare. Batteries taste so good, munches and... God damn it. Cute goat boy. Yeah, but he's kind of a prick. Until our next faded interaction, then little kitty. What was my nightmare? I know it was a work-related nightmare. It was something to do with work, but I don't remember what it is now. You're a lifesaver here. This is an old family recipe for fish and chips, which you can use for your restaurant. Hold on, I have like a, a hair under my glasses. Awesome. Thanks again, Paul. Now I can finally keep those, out those pesky wild chickens. You're hoping to get nanobot brain upgrades that replace your neurons one by one, so at that point you technically stop being yourself and you can live forever in a digitized form? I hate this conversation. Cybernetic replacement cell, functional organs, cosmetic would be the bonus. Yeah. I hate this conversation. I hate everything about it. Okay, let's upgrade our final backpack upgrade. Bag of holding. Upgrade your bag to inventory level 7. Your nightmares have gotten so bad that friends tell me they're something out of the Ar Magus archives or a meeting with an elder god. Fun story, not great to endure. Mine are usually very bland, like, what I did at work today sort of thing. Ending soon? In about 20 minutes. We'll probably do one more day. We'll probably do one more day. Let's see what Adler has real quick, and then we'll do... Hello, large wolf man. He says he's got new stuff for me, but... Why do these event why do these all just attract children? So the jade wood stuff attracts old folks. Hmm. Hmm. I could buy another window. 
What do these even do? Like, do they do they do anything? I mean, I know they're decorations, but they do anything? Whatever. Why you go? I just stopped dreaming years ago. Turns out if you smoke enough weed for long enough, it just happens. You'll be right back. Your toddler's. Oh no! Please take care of your child. <laughs> Yeah, no, my nightmares are usually really bland. Is no more weed then? <laughs> Atera, I'm sad that you weren't able to make it to uh, check out MAGFest. I went up and I met Ram and um, we had a nice conversation. It was a shame you weren't able to make it though. That's why you're up right now, you're afraid? Aw. The dreams you remember tend to be the fantastical. How would you describe the indescribable? Yeah. Worst nightmare we've had recently was you crashing into a lady with your car and having to fork over ten thousand dollars for repairs. Oof. You're sad too. The roads were so icy. You were pissed. Yeah. No. It's much better that you were being safe as opposed to like trying to rough it. Which it sucked because like down here in Virginia, it was just straight up like a normal day. There was no snow or ice at all. But yeah, no, you you being safe is way more important, but it is still, it was still kind of like a aw. The, the, a tear. <laughs> I wore heels, and we ended up walking around a little bit, and I really should not have worn heels. My feet were like a motherfucker afterward. <laughs> Imagine if you found a spider in your house, and it just grew a knife out of its butt. <laughs> Oh god, the loop hero spiders? Yeah. God, what was my nightmare? That's gonna bug me. I forgot you're in Virginia. Oh god, you're so brave to wear heels. Well, listen, I expected to go up and just be like sitting in a restaurant. I didn't know we were gonna go walking around. But yeah, yeah, I live in, in Virginia. It was like a 45-minute, 50-minute trip to get up to MAGFest. I live pretty close. But uh, it was nice. It was nice to go up and say hi. The, the conversation was very mundane. <laughs> so, <laughs> do you want to know what happened? So, the restaurant Succotash, right? Uh, I got there. I got there, and I went inside, and I texted and said that I was there. And she asked me, she's like, can you find out what the wait is? Because, and I can't stress this enough, they didn't make reservations. <laughs> so I asked the guy who's at the, you know, like at the host stand, and he says that it's about 45 minutes. So I text back on Discord, I send a message on Discord, I'm like, it says 45 minutes to an hour. And Rama just responds with, oh, in all caps. So a few minutes later is like, okay, how about you meet us at the hotel? Okay. I had parked in the parking garage directly behind the restaurant. Nice and close. Easy to walk to in heels. So I have to walk like three blocks from Succotash up the hill to the, to the, uh, to the hotel where they're staying. In like 30 degree weather. I'm really glad that I brought a coat. <laughs> Try that in Michigan? I would rather not. Like, it wasn't even snowy, it was just fucking windy because it's right on the Potomac River. I still remember last night's, which you could actually describe how it felt to watch the universe during the day. As the atmosphere bled out into space from the giant hole in the sky. I'm so sorry. Glad you brought a coat too. Yeah. So, um... I get up there and I hear a familiar voice and I spin around and it's it's her and Ko and one other person who I don't know the name of. I, did, I didn't catch their name. Um, so we ended up going to a place called the Public House and they sat us in the corner and I was sitting facing the window directly in the line of the sun. The sun hit the wall, like the, the, the polished surface and immediately reflected into my eyes. So I had to wear my sunglasses for the first 10 minutes of brunch. <laughs> anyway, we have brunch. I did not have a scooter, no. We have brunch. And then they're like, well, we're gonna go down to this, this, uh... Oh, earn 50,000 coins total. Ooh, nice. So they go down to this coffee place 
or not coffee, candy store. And I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll follow. And so we end up walking like another two, two, three blocks to go to this candy shop that's down a flight of stairs. <laughs> and I'm in heels. <laughs> So anyway, lesson learned. Bring a spare pair of shoes. <sighs> but it was fun. It was fun. Oh, shit. Well, what a time to disconnect. What a time to disconnect. Is my internet out? My internet is out. Okay. God damn it, I don't know how long I've been telling this story to an empty room. Well, at least the recording's still there. At least the recording's still there. Let me pull it up on my phone. We're back? Are we back? Are we back? I'm back? Good, 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 good. I'm so sorry. I did, My internet died. I'm sorry. I'm back. Hello. Stream just started. Hi. Hi. Hello. Welcome in. How are you? Thank you for coming to my stream. <laughs> oh, man. What, what a time. I have no idea how much time I was just talking to empty air. <laughs> you missed me? Oh, I'm sorry. I saw the sub. Was it a gift sub or did you sub a tear? Either way, thank you guys. Let's go six more hours. No. Stop it. Stop it, you motherfuckers. I just heard I'm so sorry. Pinky gifted? Aw, thank you, Pinky, for the gift sub. Enjoy your emotes, Atera. Enjoy your emotes. Ugh. Biggest, the biggest of oofs losing connection in the middle of that story. I don't know where the story cut out. Oh, I should end the day. Yeah, let's end the day and go adventuring. Remember, chat, don't double down on suffer redeems. I will refund any extras, I promise. Time to restart the story. Shush. I did make 50,000 gold, though. <laughs> yes, enjoy the emotes. <laughs> All right, let's go adventuring. Actually, wait, we have 2,400. Hey, you, can, can you do stuff for me, large man? No, I'm literally 22, 23 away. Seeing the view count and zoom up, very fun. <laughs> oh no, my analytics. My analytics. Oh well. What you got for me, Wakucha? More paintings? Oh, I want this fish one. I want the fish plate. That looks really cool. We're cooking is best. Oh, Nick, stop it. Back to Lurk Boss yelling because you're on phone. Oh, I'm sorry, Pinky. Take care. Hi, Nick. It's going okay. How are you? How are you? Uh, anyway, I don't know where the where the the. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I gotta scroll up. So, long walk to the ho- It missed the whole story?! God damn it, I told the whole story! Motherfucker. Alright, well, so anyway... I'm gonna put that right there. So anyway... Ping. Oh, tits will be broken, you're right. Hold on, let me fix tits. Let me fix my tits, chat. Okay, my tits are fixed. My tits have been fixed. Um, so I get up to the hotel, right? Sexy growl. I get up to the hotel and I hear a familiar voice and they end up taking, we end up walking like two blocks away to a restaurant called uh, The Public House. 
and they sit us in the corner and I'm sitting facing the window. So I'm sitting there facing this super polished reflective, like uh, the, the windowsill basically with the sun going right into my eyes. So I had to, <laughs> God damn it. I had to um, put my sunglasses on for like the first minute for like the first 10 minutes of the brunch because I couldn't see anything. <laughs> I told this whole story, god damn it. I couldn't fucking see anything because of the sun right in my eyes. But the dinner was nice, or brunch was nice, it was kind of kind of mundane. Uh, talked a little bit about streaming, a little bit about the weather and how things are different up in Canada. Horatius the Dwarf, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. <clears throat> in the ear holes? I'm not red in the face, you are. Shush. Um... But they were like, hey, we're gonna go to this candy store. Do you want to come with us? And against my better judgment, I'm like, eh, sure, that'll be fun. I'll come hang out. So we walk, like, another two, two and a half, three blocks to this candy store <clears throat> that was, of course, down a flight of stairs. And I'm in heels. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> So that was fun. But I will say, the um, the radio in the candy store was playing, like, fucking, like, pop music from the early 2000s, so it was a little nostalgic. God damn it, my throat, I'm sorry. So I'm in the- I'm walking around, like, we're looking at the different candy and stuff, and I'm, like, keeping time in the music with the click of the heels. Because, you know, when you walk in heels, you have to do the really specific click, click, click with every step. So I'm doing that in time with the music, and it made it all worthwhile. Your anxiety spikes when you go downstairs in heels? Nah, it was fine. Good old days of the 2000s, right? Sorry, I'm collecting as many resources as I can. We ended up, uh... Nobody saw that. We ended up walking um, back. Ram got some coffee, and then we walked back towards the hotel. And it like, um, like once we got to where the turn was to go onto the parking garage, I was like, I gotta, I gotta go. I can't keep walking in these heels. <laughs> so I had to leave. But it was a good time. I was very. <clears throat> I was very anxious on the way up there the whole time. Like, if you watch the VODs, you can tell that I was super anxious. I, I mentioned it a lot. But it ended up being nice. Prisons get poison dash. Poison dash, you say. But I, I definitely learned my lesson about not bringing a spare pair of shoes. It was very fun doing the boss lady power walk when in heels tis the rule exactly remember chat head up shoulders back chest out and walk like you're gonna kill someone they didn't get to eat there yeah we didn't even get to to go to succotash because there was a 45 minute wait so we ended up going somewhere else We went to a place called, uh, the Public House instead, which they had apparently eaten at multiple times over the trip. But yeah, so, you know, maybe next year. Maybe next year the weather will be better around MAGFest, and you'll be able to stop by, and we can go there instead. I mean, I thought it was okay. It was a nice brunch. I got, um, I got a nice little, like, eggs and sausage and bacon, and it was very tasty. It was nowhere near as, like, swanky and, and like, dress up in your Sunday best as Succotash was, though. Like, like, Succotash looked like a really nice place. Like, a oh, I put on, I was, like, in full makeup and, and looking nice. Because I was like, you know, this is, this is a swanky place to eat. I gotta look my best. And we ended up going to, like, you know, a much different place. And I was a little overdressed for it. But it was still good. It was still nice.
Yeah, basically went to a pub. Sure, I was super pretty. I don't ever think I'm pretty, but I did take a picture if you want to see it. I can DM it to you if you really want to see. You can never be overdressed. You can only make everyone else underdressed. So, so here, here's the thing. Here, here's the thing is they, they were all on like day three of convention hell and like wearing comfy sweaters and koas and cosplay and stuff. So yeah, I was very dressed. You want to see? All right, give me a minute. Let me get out of combat and I'll, I'll send it on my phone. I don't think it's a great picture, but And make people undress with great power comes great. That's not. Anyway, welcome in, by the way. I see that first time chatter tag. Okay, hold on. I'm not in combat. Let me send this real quick. Overdressed, underdressed, doesn't matter so long as you can undress. Maybe. Maybe. Hold on. Where's where's my DM with you? Where's my DM with you? There it is. I don't think it's a very flattering picture, personally. <clears throat> I also wore, um... I was wearing um, my rings and gloves, and I had uh, my s I had like the French cuffs of the sleeves all rolled up. Mm -hmm. But yeah, definitely like off Kai or Magfest next year, since I live so close, I can always swing up really easy. <clears throat> God, my fucking. Sorry, I gotta get the stuff out of my throat. I love those rings. If you want, I can send you the website where I bought them. If you'd like, I can I can link it to you. Offkai is in Cali, but I'm flying out because I promised the co-founder that I would go. I promised. So I, I, I'm gonna be going. Ye. Okay, could these guys just... Oh, they're in... I see, they're immune while they're in there. Oh. Come here, you little nerds. time you might run into me and do an you don't have to give me money if you see me at off guy but if you do see me at off guy like i'll be super anxious but you're more than welcome to say hello i mean going out you know just to meet people and spend time with people too bad i don't know how to feel about that that makes me anxious Kill everything, we killed everything. Oh, my camera's turned. <gasps> we found the stairs. Okay, I do need salt wood for stuff, so I'm gonna break everything. Tell you to shut up and take my money. God damn it. A very aggressive dono. Oh no. The meat. I'm not- God, stop calling me the can opener! Assholes. Oh, wait, there's an en there's an enemy that's still alive? Hold on. Who's still alive? Who isn't dead? Ah, there you are. I see you, you motherfucker. 
think you can escape my wrath. Quote number 1227. Sabsius Kord than Hinedu now? That's always been true. That was always true. It was. You have question about can opener thing, but it's because cat chat cats don't have thumbs. Okay. Alright, let's go see if we can't find the boss. We actually still have all of our boba. Which is kind of surprising. But yeah, after stream, I'll link you the website that I got those rings from. They have a lot of jewelry, and some of it is very cool. Oh, this was a dead end. Booba? Where? We love Booba chat. Ow. Okay, remember how I said I had all of my Boba? You're gonna try to go back to sleep for a couple hours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I appreciate you stopping in to say hello. It was nice to see you. I hope you get some good sleep, and hopefully no more nightmares. Why is this... There we go. I will do my best. Look, I'm, I'm just happy to be spending time with chat and streaming. Like, it's just so much fun to stream. But thank you so much. But yeah, everybody, everybody go check Atera's channel out and get hyped for for the uh, the re-debut coming in March. It's gonna be a good time. Atera has a really good design. Okay. Come here, come here, you enemies. You thought it was February? Uh, they said a minute ago, beginning of March, that it should be finished. I, look, I don't have a date. I don't have a date, okay? I am I am not the arbiter of truth here. Uh, an official date will be posted in the future, I'm sure. And you'll have your answer then. Bonk. Yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> Chat isn't real. The internet has been dead for 34 years. You're in your fallout shelter staring at a poster and have been for the last 14 days. Theofage, you're probably right. And I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that. But what I do know is that I want more health. I want to fight this boss and then, like, teleport back. Is this the boss fight? Ah, there's the clobber. That's, that's the ticket, my guy. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Unfortunately, you need to charge your power cells so you have a good game. Ah, uh, don't worry. You're only going to miss, like, the last couple of minutes. This will be the end of stream after we finish this fight. We're going we're gonna to most likely teleport back afterwards. Oh, if I dash through him. Okay. That makes the fight wait. Oh god. Oh, he can spin. He got the spins, chat. Okay, I'm glad I used the boba there. Bonk. Okay, he's almost dead actually. We're doing really well this time. Nice, that was easy. Awesome. Okay. We're going to call it there. We're going to call this run run and done. Run and done. 
Barfa net with new BBS in the news. What? She said the T word. What did I say? Oh, teleport. Shut up. Thanks for streaming tonight, Chief. I really needed the company. It's a joy hearing from you. I'm glad you were here. I hope you have a wonderful night. I, I hope that... <laughs> call number 1114. Link is our emotional support twink. Listen. I hope you've had a wonderful night. We're going to get these last couple of quests, go to bed, which will save, and then we'll be done. My body temperature has been up and down today. I can't stop shivering. Palm, have you heard the latest news? I don't think so. What's going on? There's been an overpopulation of ice cubes in the frozen fjord. They're hoarding all the resources from adventurers. The climate was already a bit much for them, but now they're being overwhelmed by monsters. Oh, wow. Has that caused any problems for you? It has, actually. I work with people who travel there often, but even if I wasn't personally affected, I would be worried. Link is gender goals for everyone, no exceptions. True. Maybe I can do something about it. I'm also an adventurer, after all. How brave. If you successfully call the monsters, I'll give you the recipe for a fast food set. Ooh, nice. A large, juicy burger served with a side of crispy hash browns and refreshing frizzy iced cola. This is an unforgettable meal of indulgence. It's the least I could do. You'd be doing all of us a service. Well, I'm not going to say no to a good recipe. So we have to defeat 20 ice cubes? Interesting. That's a new one. Okay, let's grab this quest. Are the twins arguing again? I better go see what's going on. Hi. Oh, Xian. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Are you alright? What's wrong? My mother-in-law is visiting tonight. I really wanted to impress her with by preparing some crab tempura. <gasps> it's just a fucking deep-fried crab. Dish requires a well-seasoned crab deep-fried in rich batter until every crunchy bite explodes with sweet and salty seafood creaminess. But I've looked everywhere and I can't find any crab. I'm afraid I won't be able to make the dish and I'll disappoint her. I can help you get some. In exchange, you'll be able to share the dish recipe with me? That's no problem at all. Just help me get my, my ingredients as quickly as you can, please. 20 crab. Do I have 20 crab? Do I have 20 crab? I have seven crab. Do I have any crab at home? Do I have any crab? Do I have crab chat? I, I have 19 crab! I'm one crab short! This man is having insufficient number of crabs. God damn it. <laughs> one crab, please, and a Diet Coke. Yeah, we're, we're so fucking close. <laughs> All right, I feel like we need to do a couple of days where we just do cooking. Because we have so many, like, of everything. We just need to do, like, a lot of, like, straight up just cooking. So maybe next time we play, we'll do that. So let's see. Gloves. Please don't hug me. Poison skin. Poison dash. Enemies that you are frozen melee only. I I kind of want to swap to that. Is Death Explosion doing that much damage? Maybe. Hmm. Let's leave it for now. Okay. Alright, we go to bed, save, and we're done. Three, is it just straight up cooking? We might have to. Anyway. That's going to be it for this, now that it's saving for us. We only really did seven days, because it was n day 19 when we started. Or day 29 when we started. But thanks for watching. <laughs>